One common question I get from my students every year is, Mr. Sin, what is the most important unit to study in order to do well on the AP National Exam? And I, I will be honest, I used to say that all the units are important and you should review them all in order to make sure that you are ready for any question that could be on that national exam. Well, I later realized that my answer was not really helpful. And while it was true that there can be any information on any of the units, not all the units are equal. And there are better ways to answer that question that will provide you a better framework to help you with your study. So in this video, I'm going to try again and answer that question in a way that I hope will help you better understand exactly what to study and may help you limit some of your stress. Okay, so in terms of what concepts are on the AP National Exam, we need need to start by going to the CED, which if you do not know is the course exam description. This magical document holds the keys to the kingdom of fives. Now you can find this document online for free, but I'm going to help you decipher it. To start, let's figure out exactly which units you need to pay a little extra attention to. Once you get to CED, you need to go to page 23 for AP Human Geography and page 25 for AP Psychology. There you will see the exam weight. This shows the percentage of the test questions that will come from each unit. So we can see that for AP Human Geography, Unit 1 has the lowest weight, and for AP Psychology, the lowest weighted unit is Unit 3. Now this does not mean you can just skip these units. They are going to be on the test, but it does help you better understand what units you should give a little extra attention to. For instance, for AP Psychology, you want to make sure you spend time with Units 5, 7, and 8, since they have the largest percentage of the test. And while for AP Human Geography, I'm sorry, but this isn't really that helpful since Units 2 through 7 all have the same weight. Now don't worry, this magical document still has more to offer that can help you improve your studies and your scores. To do this, we need to go down to page 164 for AP Human Geography and page 174 for AP Psychology. Here you will see the breakdown of the different skills you need for this test. Notice that for AP Psychology, 75 to 80 percent of the test questions for the multiple choice section focus on category one concept understanding. While for AP Human Geography, the two top main skills are concepts and processes and spatial relationships. If you are looking at these skills and are getting confused or overwhelmed, fear not, this magical document has got you covered. If we go back to the start of this document, you will find a wonderful page that outlines each of these skills and breaks them down in different ways that you may see these skills assessed on the exam. This can help you better understand the types of questions that may be asked and understand how these tests will be formatted using these skills throughout the test. All right, so you know the most important units now and the skills you need for the test, but I hear you asking, how do I know what to study? Well, to answer that question, all we need to do is go to page 37 for AP Human Geography and page 39 for AP Psychology. Here you will find the start of the unit topics. This is a list that contains all the information you need to know for each topic of the course. Now, I wanna highlight a couple things with this document. First, if you look at the top left corner of the document, you will see a suggested skill. This connects back to those skills we were just talking about. You can see it is color coded to help you quickly see exactly what skill the College Board is talking about, and even gives you information about how the skill connects to the unit topic. This can be a great way to practice, try and answer the statement, and connect back to the skill to see if you are understanding the information and understanding how to utilize that skill. Now for AP Human Geography, you will also see learning objective and essential knowledge. And for AP Psychology, you will also see the learning target and examples. The learning objectives or learning targets can be used to practice the topic. Make sure you can answer those questions as it's definitely possible you will see something similar on the AP test. Next is the essential knowledge and examples, which is the content that you need to know for the AP exam. So instead of studying by reviewing all of your notes and rereading your textbook, focus instead on the content and information that is listed here. This is what the College Board is going to test you on. I also want to point out that for AP Human Geography, you will also see enduring understanding. You'll notice that many of these repeat throughout the entire course. These are themes that repeat in the course and can actually be used as a useful way to organize your notes and study. Now I realize that there can be a lot to take in here. So to help, I created a free 30-day study guide that breaks down the different topics in the CED. You can find it in the free preview of the Ultimate Review Pack. 
bracket if you click the link down below. Part of that study guide includes a template for the different topics in the CED to help you identify the content you need to review. Plus, it comes with a 30-day plan to space out your study. Speaking of the ultimate review packet, if you are looking for an efficient way to help you study, you need to check out my packet. I have gone through the CED and created practice quizzes, tests, study guides, answer keys, unit review videos, and more, all to help review the information listed in the CED. It's definitely the most efficient way to study for your AP National exam. Plus, this year I also launched a new test pack that is filled with FRQs and practice tests for each unit of the class. This will help you see if you're truly understanding the information. Now, if that doesn't sound like your cup of tea, no worries at all. I keep mentioning it because I truly do feel like it will help you with your studies and it'll help you rock that AP National exam. All right, so now you know what units to give a little extra attention to, what skills you need, and what content you need to study. If you need links to the CED or my ultimate review pack, the test course, or anything referenced in this video, you can check the description down below. As always, I'm Mr. Sin. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember, you can do this. You will rock this AP exam. I know you will. You've got this. And until next time, I'll see you online.